Welcome back to Smokies Plus. In this video, we're here in Portsmouth, Ohio, and we're staying at the Shawnee Lodge and Comfort Center. Uh, we want you to come along with us. This is a place I've been following, kind of stalking on Facebook for a while because their pictures look so beautiful. And it's the end of December, so we still caught Christmas lights up. Yay. So let's go take a look. Come on with us. All right, you know what we do. We start here in the bathroom. So we're gonna take a look around here. Everything appears to be pretty clean. Nice big, uh, big vanity here. I can't tell if these are uh, yellowed or if that's just the color, but they they definitely still look clean Let's look in the tub yep. Everything looks good here now one of my favorite things anytime a hotel has a sink outside. I think that's awesome That's uh, one of my favorite things when they put that in got a little bench here place to hang your clothes and look how big this room is hopefully this is really doing it justice it's a pretty large room hi Miranda it's been a while yes, it has. it's been a while got their mini fridge out here kind of out in the open normally it's tucked away somewhere but that's kind of some nice artwork of the little the little smokies here And here's the bed. So we got a king suite facing the woods. Or is it suite? King's king room facing the woods. Um, kind of an older TV, which I mean, you don't. If you're coming here to these uh, neck of the woods, you're probably coming for nature and to get away from all the electronics. So you probably don't really care. The AC unit. Do have a nice little table here. It looks like maybe just the one chair. But it's a nice place to, to put food at least. As far as charging is concerned, you know, this isn't super new and modern, but they do have these lamps here with plugs. Check the other side. So yeah the lamps that have the plugs on both sides I don't know if it really matters to you or not but I did want to point out there are some uh, lots of missing paint and this Miranda said she felt like this was maybe where the table was and about the height that it is for where the height the table is it probably is right maybe they had a dresser there I'm not sure but either way definitely this is something they could touch up super easy with a little bit of paint and it's not just there kind of goes throughout the the room as you can see so may not bother you but just a little attention to detail this is the balcony we got it's facing the woods so it's nice peaceful and serene 
you can see the fire pits. Yeah, we'll show you those. Hopefully that we they get those going in a little bit, but they do have fire pits outside as well. But uh yeah, it's very, very peaceful. Oh, maybe we'll see a Sasquatch. You think we'll see a Sasquatch? Maybe. I don't know. We're facing the woods. Right there. Alright, and just check the bed stuff real quick. Pillows appear to be clean. This the spread here. Yeah, I'm pulling up the sheet too. No hairs. <laughs> it's always a you know it's always a bad thing when when you have to start checking for gross hairs in a hotel room. It feels like that should be a pretty standard uh, feature having no hairs. But uh, yeah, so that's the room. Let's take a look at the rest of the property. Here they've got a gift shop. So right now they've got some Christmas ornaments, but they've got some merch here, some some gear. Some really nice looking stuff actually. Really like that hat. It's all kinds of really nice clothes. Of course they've got that lazy one stuff. Oh some little stuffed guys. That. Oh and they even got some dipping dots here. Candles, various gifts, so. It's a cute little shop. Alright, so let me show you this arcade. This is really cool. This is their game room. Look, there's a Alvin from Alvin the Chipmunks right along. An old photo booth. Claw machine. Some arcade games. They have an air hockey table. An old, uh, Old style vending machine. Claw machine there. These Alex always used to like this little soccer game where you can win bouncy balls. And look at this thing. How old do you think this is? I remember those from when I was a kid, and that one has to be about that old. In addition, look at this thing. Uh, I mean, that's straight out of Toys R Us. And then Very cool. It's a nice area. Clearly nobody wants to go there. Alright, so this is a view from the upper deck of the hotel, looking over what would be the, the pool, normally. Kind of see the peaks there in the background with the, the water flowing in the foreground. That's beautiful. So I wanted to show you this in the daytime as well. Have a couple chairs and a table here on the balcony. Do have privacy partitions up uh, between everything, but take a look. It was very dark. It was hard to see last night, but you can see it's very peaceful. Now this is the room that we picked, and specifically on their website when you're, I was booking, it said that it was facing the um, the woods. So that's why we picked it. You can kind of see the lake through the trees. Of course, if this was spring or summer, this would all be green and you wouldn't be able to see, but it's very nice. This is the main lobby area. Now, of course, it's decorated for Christmas. It's not going to always look like this. Um, here in this main area, there there is a, a bar there where you can order food and then the restaurant here. Uh, we'll have a review up soon. The link will be uh, down in the description once we, we have it. But this place is amazing. Beautiful. 
beautiful trees everywhere so we're going to show you some of them this is like a little handmade uh, Noah's Ark is this not the most unique thing you've ever never seen I love it it's all made from outdoor stuff yeah I don't know if you guys can tell Oh, like the pine cone giraffe. Yeah, the giraffe made of pine cones and more pine cones here. There's little prickly ball things, whatever they're called. So it looks like cotton. Maybe, I don't know, but like. It's pretty amazing. So we came up the stairs here, and they even decorate this upstairs area. There are trees up here as well. And the lady down in the restaurant told us to make sure we check out this one. This red, white, and blue tree. They even changed the garland in this one section. It's a red, white, and blue garland. Very cool. Just look at this place. They really do it up right for Christmas. You see the, the garland. Now you can even come up here and eat, hang out, just talk, play card games, whatever you want. It's just such a serene setting. Oh, and we spotted a bear here at the lodge. And the little Smokies. There's even bears here in the Smokies. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I'm so glad we got to come. Yeah, so don't expect all this when you come and it's not Christmas time, but. Uh, I'm sure they still decorate it very nice when, when the Christmas lights aren't up. It feels like it's straight out of a movie. It's so pretty. All right, so that was the uh, Shawnee State Park Lodge and Conference Center. Um, in West Portsmouth, Ohio, it's a um, just an absolutely beautiful place, and I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't know about it sooner. <laughs> yeah, me too. It was like walking into a Hallmark movie lodge. If you've ever watched the movies where it takes place at a lodge or something, they're all trapped there, or it's a getaway, but it was just perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Um, so you got to see in the video the lodge and there was a restaurant there and we'll be releasing that video as well. There's um, a little game room, arcade, on site, an indoor and an outdoor pool. 
So plenty of things to do where you don't have to leave the property at all. Um, well, not to mention just the seating areas. Yeah. Just oh to gosh. sit and relax. And they have TVs <clears throat> too. Like we had, there were um, like play, uh, not playoff games, but like bowl games going on. And so they were playing football on one of the TVs yeah. and it was just a nice communal area. Yeah, absolutely. Just just a great place for, to take a family. You could have like a retreat of some kind there if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Everybody could get together. There's plenty of space for that. Um, it, so let's let's talk about the rooms. We we did ask the the lady at the front desk about because um, I had heard that there were some some updates that are going to be happening. Um, she had claimed that all the beds themselves had been replaced as well as uh, what's going to happen in 2023 is that they're going to remove the external sinks, which Bob's was favorite sink. I love having yeah. that, but she claims that to be listed in AAA's uh, booklets back then when it first happened is that you had to have an external sink outside the bathroom to even be considered. So well, I, I've never heard that before. So that that was new information, but they are removing them according to the the lady at the front desk. I tried to confirm that with. Um, ownership about that and and the replacing of beds we did see when we were pulling away there was a bunch of discarded mattresses so obviously yeah. they've replaced some so let's talk about our experience with those those mattresses um i don't think ours have been replaced yet no and, no. If, and if it was then they need better mattresses yeah so that was the only bad part about that entire experience was was sleeping the mattress itself um, was hard mm -hmm. and not in a, it's brand new and that's just the way it's designed. Yeah. But like the springs have, have, or whatever it is, the coils have completely compressed and it was just, it was rough. Yes. The pillows were some of the weirdest I think I've ever slept on. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of inflated. Yeah. Like a, I wouldn't say like a balloon, but like air was trapped inside. It was just, it was really weird because it, it, it was just the way that they were, I don't know, I've never, like you said, I've never had a pillow <clears throat> like it. To, the only thing I could think to compare it to is like those self-inflating whoopee cushions. So you squeeze the air out <laughs> and then it <laughs> refills itself. So like I would find a place finally where my head was comfortable on the pillow and Within a couple minutes, I was completely like this again, and I would... But if you moved it, it was it like it... Back up. Back up. So, it so. was weird. So, if they are replacing mattresses, that's a good thing. Um, our suggestion maybe would be just to bring your own pillow if, if, if that's a big deal for you. Or maybe you will like that kind of pillow. Or maybe you like the deflating uh, pillows. I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> um, the serenity of the entire property was, was, was awesome. Um, you know... It's an older property, like it's been around since the 70s, so there's going to be some wear and tear here and there, but that's kind of like the charm of it. I think so, too. Like, that was part of what I liked about it. It was just, it was, to me, it was really comfortable. Yeah. Um. So, I really liked that, and we were very lucky to go at the end of December. It was warm. I mean, it was, yeah. what, in the 60s when we went down, and so we got blessed with being able to walk around the exterior of the property, even with some rain. Yeah. Uh, just got to enjoy being outdoors as well as indoors and just take it all in. Yeah. It was, a, it was an awesome experience, and it was one that, like, I would venture to say, and uh, it's probably overused, but it was good for the soul. Mm -hmm. Like just just a, that trip in general was just a, a a nice relaxing trip. All of the the buzz and the hub, hubbub down in the um, common areas. Yes, where kids were running like you had pointed out. Kids yeah. were running around, going to and from the swimming pool, uh, the indoor one, and um, like they, they were at home, and it was just something so nice about everybody just being happy. Yeah. Like everybody there just seemed happy. Yeah. And I don't know, there was something about that that was just lovely. So um, if, if you're in the area and you've been considering staying there, or maybe you didn't even know about it at all, we would consider, we would recommend it rather. 
Um, and it's, it's a great opportunity for you to get away if you can't make it all the way to the Smokies. If you're like us and you live in Ohio or maybe you live in Kentucky and you're right there uh, on the northern part of Kentucky and you just want a quick getaway, uh, we would we would highly recommend this. We didn't uh, get to take advantage of any of the, the trails that were nearby. Um, I know there were a couple small yeah. ones and then a lot of like more <clears throat> strenuous ones. Yep. Um, which we didn't have the time for, and my foot wasn't completely cooperating with either. But um, just the outdoor area. There's a there's a lake there. nearby. Yes. You know, there's all kinds of things um, nature-wise to to get involved in to go have a picnic. It's all right Swim. there nearby. Yep. Like the lake was beautiful with the fog on it and everything. But I definitely would love to go back in the summer months and see it in all of its summer glory as yep. well. Yeah, we, we plan on taking the kids back to, to go check it out during the summer at some point. I, I definitely want to uh, see the pool in, in all of its glory as well. Mm -hmm. so. And they were doing some external work as well as internal work uh, throughout the property, just doing maintenance and updates and different things like that. But they did say that the, they were trying to do more on all the bathrooms as well, didn't they? Like, yeah. Didn't she say they were going to remodel the bathrooms? Yeah, so they were not only removing the one exterior sink outside of the bathrooms, they were also doing upgrades to the bathrooms themselves. So even without that, it was yeah. seemed fine, like yeah. seemed nice. So, you know, we, we, we would definitely recommend it. Um, the experience at Christmas time was extra special. Uh, I think we may want to try to go during their open house next, next year, uh, or this year rather, in 2023. Um, Sorry, our cat's jumping all around, but but uh, yeah, go go check it out for yourself. It's a it's a nice little getaway uh, for you, like as a couple, or for the entire family. Yes, I highly recommend it. Yeah, this has been another video from the great state of Ohio. We hope you have a great day. God bless.